Well, today we're in the beautiful Kimberley region. We've just left Broome and we're heading towards Derby to fish the mighty Fitzroy River. We're on the tail end of the wet season, so everything is green and lush and we've got big tides. We're chasing barramundi and possibly some cherubin. This place is beautiful. I can't wait to get to the banks and chuck a line out. We're land based fishing today. We're going to start by throwing the net around and trying to get a feed of cherubin and then lining the bank with rods, throwing out a few live baits and chasing some fish. Alright, so first stop of the day, we've just pulled off the highway. It's a little part of the Fitzroy River, but there's been so much flooding up here recently, so lots of fresh water and there's good numbers of cherubin around. So we've got the net, we're going to cast around and, and try and get a good feed of them for later, maybe even use a few for, for live bait, but it's also pretty difficult not to cast around for a barramundi, so we might flick a couple of lures. Awesome up here, can't wait. This is what we're after first up. So these are a cherubin, they're a freshwater prawn. They do get a lot bigger than this, but talking to Nathan about them, and he reckons they're five star eating. So we've got some stuff in the car for a cook up later on today. We're hoping to get a couple of barra as well. We're gonna try and load up on these at the moment. I think nine liters is the- Per person, yeah. Nine liters per person is the bag limit. We probably won't get that many, but um, beautiful. I've never eaten cherubin, so I'm pretty excited to get a few for a feed later on. These things are beautiful. It was a little bit of hard work, but the next step for us is to jump on the highway, head a little bit further up the Fitzroy to a place called Cuttings, hopefully get onto a few barra. fish the low part of the tide. The tides at the moment are actually massive, so about 11 metre tides. They've had a huge wet season here, so everything's been washed out and changed a lot since the last time we've been here. The scenery here is just unbelievable. I'm hoping to see, you know, just mullet and bait fish. I just love being up here. It's just a special place to be. <laughs> Finally, we've got to the banks of the mighty Fitzroy River. I just can't help but throw a line out straight away. Bang, we've hooked up straight away to a threadfin salmon. After last time out on the boat, this is a massive relief. How good is this? Two minutes of arriving and we've caught a nice threadfin salmon. These are one of the best eating fish you can get up here, especially fresh. So this one's gonna come home with us. We're gonna line the, line the banks with a few more baits but it looks real fishy here. Awesome. What is it? It's coming in a bit. Nothing big, I don't think, this one. Might be a little caddy. Or a thready. Oh, caddy. Not what we came for, that one. <laughs> Dirty catfish. You gotta be careful about these fish because see that spike on the top there? That is a nasty spike. You won't enjoy that if it gets you. And they've also got two fairly decent ones on their peck fins as well. So I'll get this one off and get it back, but not the target species. This time of year is really hot and humid, especially through the early part of the day. It builds up and there's been thunderstorms in the afternoons. Mate, you set that up. Come, come grab it. Oh, you dog. <laughs> what is it? Is it Freddy? Oh, how good's that? Mate, that's a stonker. What a beast. Whoa, how thick is he? Look at that thing. Well done, what a rig. Massive thready. Jeez, look how fat it is. I just ran up the end there because we've lined the banks with our rods and our live bait and I've, we're running. So they keep getting runs. I got a catfish. Nate's just strolled in and pulled up this huge thready. So got to be happy with that. We've got two threadfin on the bank now. So that would have to be 800. Look how thick it is. No, real happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's how it's done, mate. And you got one, I reckon. Up the other end? Yeah. Come, big barrel. The Fitzroy's come alive with action. There's mullet everywhere, there's barrow boofing, the birds are flying around. We got here just in time. This is what I come up here for. I finally caught a barramundi, one of the most sought after fish in Northern Australia and my favourite fish to catch. Beautiful barramundi. This is why you come to the Kimberley. I absolutely love these fish. They're my favourite fish to catch in the whole world. We've measured it. It's come in at 70 centimetres. That's the perfect eating size fish. The legal size limit's between 55 and 80. So over 80, they turn into females. They'll start their life as a male, as a young fish. That's perfect. I think we're going to make a barra curry with that one tonight. Nah, where is he? Pull the hooks. With these fish, you've got to let them run. So you have your drag set. These are all bait runner reels. You have it real light, because if they feel tension, they'll drop it straight away. I just had a good run, but I've tried to set the hooks maybe just that little bit early, pulled the bait out, so get it back out, have another crack. That's on now. What is happening? What is that? The bait's still there. Unless this mullet can swim at 100 miles an hour. No. I hate fishing, eh? Oh, did you see it? Oh, no. That's got a fish on, has it? Up the surface, Barra, come on. Be a big boy. Oh, it's a Freddy. Oh, yeah, he's all right too. These fish are so... Such good eating. Trust me, as a bycatch when you're chasing barramundi, you're happy with threadfin salmon. Happy with that. Well, now we've got all the ingredients for a curry, it's time to get a fire going and start cooking before the weather comes in. Well, it's getting late afternoon. We've had an absolutely cracker day. We've got barramundi, threadfin salmon and cherubin. Fire's going, we're all pretty hungry. I think it's time for a cook up. Come on. Well, Barra and Cherubin curry, what a way to end the day. But those clouds over our shoulder are looking pretty nasty. We got a storm coming, but we got rice and an awesome barramundi and Cherubin curry. Can't beat it. Cherubin, threadfin salmon, and barramundi. You can't beat the Kimberley. So good. So good. Just when we thought we had the perfect day, things doing? took a turn for the worse on the way out of here. Oh, man. Wow. We've lost all our tracks that we took on the way in here. We're having to walk ahead of the car and try and make the right tracks and right decisions. It's really muddy and the car's going everywhere. Did we mention it was the wet season? Oh man, that's, that was hectic. We did not see it coming. We thought it was going to go inland and miss this, but the rest of the track might be a little bit sketchy. We'll let you know if it is, but let's just get out of here. We finally make our way out of there, and I'm absolutely stoked because I didn't want to spend the night in the car. Well, that wraps up our Kimberley trip. We've had an awesome time out here with plenty of action. We'll catch you next time on the next adventure.